Hi folks, I'm glad you're here. Thank you very much for joining me. It is Friday, November 15th, 2024. How did those of you along the west coast of Oregon sleep last night? Interestingly, there was two earthquakes simultaneously um, along Oregon's coast. Uh, the first one was a magnitude 3.4 along the Blanco Fracture Zone. At 1.08 a.m., it was 6.2 miles in depth. And then right afterwards, there or right at the same time, there was a magnitude 2.6 yeah, along the Cascadia Subduction Zone. That was deeper, 16.3 miles in depth, probably because of subduction. Interesting that it was in the uh, Juan de Fuca Fault Zone. Just another indication that the faults are moving. Yeah, the continents, the plates are moving. Down over here at the bottom is the Blanco Fracture Zone or the Blanco Transform Fault Zone. It's a right lateral transform fault that runs northwest off the coast of Oregon in the Pacific. Uh, northwest of the United States extending from the Gorda Ridge to the south to the Juan de Fuca Ridge in the north. The Blanco Fracture Zone extends all the way about 150 kilometers or about 93 miles to approximately 350 kilometers or 217 miles west. What they call the Cascadia Depression within this area um, here has about 1,600 feet of sediment that line the floor of the depression. This area of Oregon's coast may be more likely to experience a lot more earthquakes than say they have there in Vancouver, a lot more. And they suggest that many of the quakes would be smaller, but greater in number. Going to Google Earth, here's the Juan de Fuca plate right through here. Uh, to the bottom, to the south, is the Gorda Plate. Scientists believe that a large earthquake in the Juan de Fuca Plate could cause the big one to happen again like they had back in the 1700s. Scientists used to say that the southern end of the Cascadia subduction zone was locked. It has built up a lot of pressure. But lately there's been a few earthquakes that I've reported that have been occurring in this area. Here is the location of today's magnitude 2.6. You can see we got other ones that are more recent along the same subduction zone. This 2.6 was on the 7th of this month and close to this 5.0 area, which also happened this year. That was on October 18th. We have right here a magnitude 2.8 now that one was on february 21st yeah so what's going on are you prepared for a large earthquake uh yeah for a cascadia subduction zone yeah mega earthquake and mega tsunami tonight is what's called a super moon they call it a beaver moon it's when the moon is the closest to the earth and it just so happens to be a full moon. Yeah, there'll probably be an increase in earthquakes because of that. Hopefully we don't have any uh, large size X uh, solar flares. Currently there's only been um, some C's and um, well, we got two M's. We got an M 1.58. Let's see, an M 1.14. And an M1, oops, wrong spot, it moved, M1.03. Solar flares, as I mentioned before, not only affects people's health, but can also trigger earthquakes if they're ready to go. There was one report sent into USGS Did You Feel It website for the magnitude 3.4, but I do not see it listed anywhere on here. Not surprising. I reported yesterday how that magnitude 5.0 earthquake um, off the coast of Mexico, uh, not only did they delete 
the felt reports, which was probably about 369 of them, but they even re, um, removed um, the felt report maps. Now for the magnitude 2.6, here we got um, Portland. There was two reports from there, intensity level two. So that would be about 109 miles from the location of the earthquake or 176 kilometers. On the coast there, there was one response. Let me see if I can zoom in to see where it was. Now that was 81 kilometers. So that would be about 50 miles. Somewhere by Bay City, Oregon, it looks like. It was probably actually Bayview. Here we got Bay City down here. But it was probably Bayview down there in that location that someone felt it. So once again, it was 1.08 a.m. Were you up last night? Uh, did you feel this earthquake? And just didn't bother to send in a report to USBS. I'm sorry, USGS. If so, please put your reports down below. Yeah, our people in our community here would like to know how long did it last? What did the shaking feel like? Did you have uh, vertigo? Things like that. And maybe were your pets acting up yesterday? Yeah, let us know. And are you prepared for a large earthquake? Uh, I hope so. Boy, I hope so. Things are really starting to pick up in this area. Um, what are your thoughts? Put your comments down below. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. And I'll talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.